السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم ٹو وزڈم انٹرنیشنل سکولز ڈیجیٹل کلاس روم فار میتھمیٹکس سو ناؤ وی ہیو کم ٹو دس اینڈ آف دس چیپٹر سو ارلیئر ان دا پریویس ویڈیو آئی ٹاٹ یو ہاؤ ٹو کیلکولیٹ دی آنسرز لائک ویلیوز ان ڈائریکٹ پروپورشنز اینڈ ورڈ ناؤ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لک ایٹ انورس پروپورشن اوکے سو وین دس وین ول یو سی دیٹ اٹ از انورس پروپورشن دیٹ از یو نو وین ون ویلیو انکریزز دا ادر ون ڈکریزز رائٹ سو ایف آئی سی دیٹ ایکس اینڈ وائی آر سیٹ ٹو بی in uh, vary in inverse proportion or indirect one okay inverse proportion so you will just uh, write it like this you know x is so you i told you for proportion you use this symbol like a wrong symbol right so x is if i write x is directly proportional to y i will just write this this is direct okay now if i want to write inverse i will write x is i will write the same thing but instead of writing y i will write one by y so this is inverse okay so i will read this as x is inversely proportional to y okay here i will write read x is directly proportional to y in the second case i will read it as x is inversely proportional to y <coughs> okay so now based on this we'll solve the problem so now here you see when i say x is inversely proportional to y so if i want to put an s equals to sign i'll put x is equals to 1 over y but i'll be but i'll be having a k also over here so i have x is equals to k into 1 is k by y okay if i want to bring the y this side i will write it as x into y equals k so this is what they have written over here okay and k is the constant that could be any number based on different problems have different uh, k values okay so now here you see it says which of the following are in inverse proportion now you see the number of workers on a job and the time to complete the job so if the number of workers are more the time to complete the work will be less so this is a case of a inverse um, inverse proportion okay now look at the next one the time taken for a journey and the distance traveled in the uniform speed so it, if the speed is not more or less okay it's the, in the same speed so if the distance is more if the time is more the distance traveled will be more if the time is taken less time is taken you would have covered only less distance right so that is the case of a direct now come to the third one area of cultivated la land and the crop harvested so if you cultivate more area more land you will get more crop if you cultivate less land and you know have a, you know less crop will be harvested right so that is how it is okay this is also a case of a direct Now you come to the fourth one. It says the time taken for a fixed journey and the speed of the vehicle. If you take more time <coughs> to uh, for a, like you know if you if the time taken for a fixed journey. So the journey is is fixed. Okay, the distance traveled is fixed. If you take more time, the speed of the vehicle will be lesser. Right. So when will you take more time? I, I, when your speed is when you are slow in traveling it. Right. so the time when taken is time taken is more the speed will be less if time taken is less the speed will be more right if you increase your speed your time taken will be less so this is a case of an inverse proportion now here it is the population of a country and the area of the uh, land per person so <clears throat> so you here you see population of a country and the area of land per person so area of land per person is like you know area here i'll write it down area land area by per person so by population person okay all right so now area of land per person i can write it over here because it says area per person right and this is your population okay so now you see population is equals to area by person now here population is on top and a person is coming at the bottom over here so this is a case of a inverse proportion again okay <coughs> now if i want to write ev everything in this format here you know in all the inverse proportion i can do that in the fourth one i can say that time is over here and time is inversely proportional to the uh, speed so 1 by speed okay and here i can write it as workers number of workers is inversely proportional to so i will write 1 by uh, this thing so time to complete the job okay 
So now come to uh, problems in exercise, uh, uh, the second exercise, 14.2, I think, right? So it says, Rahman is making a wheel using uh, a spoke. So, so this is 4.2, I think the exercise number is 4.2. I'll just write down here. Let me erase this. <coughs> so the third question Rahman is making a wheel using spokes okay he wants to fix equal spokes in such a way that the angles between any pair of consecutive spokes are equal help him by completing the following table so this this is how it is okay spokes in the sense these are the spokes like one two three four this kind of thing okay so he's fixing it in such a way that the angles inside this are equal okay now you see you should always know that when in talking about a circle okay in one full circle the angle is actually 360 degrees obviously right see if you have this from here if you take this is 90 degree now this is one more 90 degree so this whole thing is 180 right at the bottom again you will have 180 so the whole thing is 180 plus 180 which is 360 degrees okay so now here if i want to divide it between four see number of spokes you see number of spokes are four so i have to take 360 i have to divide it into four equal parts so 360 divided by four gives you 90 degrees right four nines are 36 and zero 90 degrees so that's been done for you now if it is six of them then you do 360 divided by 60 so the zero gets cancelled six six are 36 so there are okay wait no, instead of 60 it's number of spokes is six right so you take 36 360 divided by 6 so that's going to give you 6 6 are 36 and then 1 0 so 60 degree this is also done for you now they are asking you to similarly find for 8 spokes so you will do 360 divided by 8 now you see you can calculate this now 8 4 are 32 and then 4 remaining 8 5 are 40 so you get 45 degrees so this is 45 degrees now 360 divided by 10 so, because 10 spokes are there, so the zeros get cancelled and you get 36 over here. Then you have the next one, 360 divided by 12. So, 360 divided by 12 is 12, 3 is 36 and then 1 zero. So, 30 degrees, okay. So, here you will get 30 degrees. Now, you see, if I ask you if it is a direct proportion or inverse proportion, you can see that as you increase the number of spokes, see, the number of spokes are increasing, 4, 6, 8, 10, it's going up. Now, angle is going down, you see, 90, 60, 45, it is going down. So, this is a case of a inverse proportion, okay. So, this is inverse, okay. Now, <coughs> come to the, so now here you see, I have just made a table like this. Number of spokes is 4, 6, 8. So, the one which we just calculated, I have just written, uh, given a, pasted the image of the table. Now, the question says, are the number of spokes and the angles formed between the pairs of angles uh, pairs of consecutive spokes inverse proportion yes it is inverse right mm -hmm. because if this is increasing see this value is increasing and this is decreasing right so this is a case of a inverse proportion so is yes you will say yes the second one says calculate the angle between a pair of consecutive spokes on a wheel of 15 spokes so if you had 15 spokes what will you do what will be the angles between them so you do 360 divided by 15 so that could be solved you know 5 3 is 15 5 7 is 35 5 2 is 10 again 3 2 is 6 3 4 is 12 so you get 24 degrees so if you have 15 spokes you will actually have 24 degrees okay in between them <coughs> the third question says how many spokes would be needed if the angle between the pair of consecutive spokes is 40 degrees so if it is 40 degrees how many spokes so again you know since it's inverse proportion you will be dividing it 360 by 40 again so that's going to give you four nines are 36 so you get nine spokes again okay. now you come to this question two person could fit new video uh, new windows in a house in three days now this you first you know when you read a problem you should figure out if it belongs to a inverse proportion or a uh, direct proportion okay now we will first figure that out 
so because based on that only we can solve the table okay so like how i taught you in the previous exercise that's not the way always we can do it so first we should read the question carefully see it says two persons could fit the windows in three days see two people are working and they are you know finishing the job in three days now if one of the person falls sick how much uh, like you know uh, how much time will it need now you see there's only one person who is doing the job so obviously when you have decreased the number of workers the person is going to take more days to finish the job right earlier two of them finished the job in three days now it will not get over in three days it will take more days isn't it because the one of them has fallen sick so this one single person has to complete the work right complete do the do all the work so he will definitely take more number of days so if the number of people have reduced the number of the work days number of days has increased so it's a case of a inverse proportion so in case of inverse variation so this is how you will write it so as usual we will write the table as it is persons and days two people complete it in three days and one person will take how many days so here you will not cross multiply okay instead you will directly multiply 2 into 3 okay should be equals to 1 into x okay earlier if it is a direct proportion you will do a cross multiplication okay so i'll write it over here if it's direct you will do cross multiplication okay if it's inverse you will do the direct multiplication it's other way around okay so here you see 1 into x equals to 2 into 3 so x is equals to 6 days so he alone will take it take it take to finish the job in 6 days okay now coming to the next one persons and days now coming to the question the second question the second question says how many persons would we need would be needed to fit the windows in one day so in one day how many people will be required see two people finished the job in three days now in one day so now in below the one the days you will put one below the persons you will put x okay because we don't know how many they are asking us to find how many persons earlier in the first question they asked us how many days it will need so i put for one person how many days so in, in below the days i put x now i will put the x below the persons okay so here again 2 into 3 and 1 into x these two will be multiplied so this is 1 into x so which is x is equal to 6 so 6 people will be needed to complete the job okay so it's similar to this all the problems are there in your exercise 4.2 you can complete this uh, exercise in your classwork again okay and uh, yeah so that's it so this chapter is over so inshallah i'll see you uh, with the next chapter in the next video lapis thank you